I've practically just parked in a bush. <laughs> this is what we have to cope with when you're filming, you know. It's, it's not as glamorous as people make it out to be. Exactly, exactly. Parking in a bush so someone can come out, you know. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Joel and welcome back to the channel. Today I have met up with Nez from Zimba Motoring. Hi guys, if you haven't seen his channel already, I'm sure you have. Uh, there'll be a link in the description. But he owns an E89 2 litre Z4. Z4. Yes. Oh, you forgot already, Joe. <laughs> and uh, as you all know, I own an E85 2 litre Z4. Uh, but today I thought I'd do a video asking what the difference is between the two cars. Obviously, one of them is a bit quicker than the other. Um, but we're going to look more at sort of the actual car. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. stay tuned, guys, and uh, let's go. Should be a fun day! Yeah! <laughs> Hey guys, so uh, I thought it would obviously make sense to walk around Nez's car and, and he can explain to you guys what sort of are the differences for you yeah. uh, with the two cars. So mm -hmm. if we have a look around now. Yeah, absolutely, let's uh, do it. So this is my 89Z4, so major difference is obviously this is uh, the later uh, version. So it's got a completely different uh, front bumper. Yeah. Uh, this car overall, it's, uh, it's a little bit bigger than the 85. Obviously, tech is a big thing with this car, so you've got updated navigation, and this is obviously this is a move to turbocharged engines. So yeah, that's a that's a very big point, really, your isn't it? Your car is naturally aspirated, indeed, it's good indeed. old school. Whereas this, obviously, BMW have gone to more efficiency. So this car has got it's a twin turbo, so it's got a big turbo and a little one. So a little one works until the big one kicks in. Uh, this is a 20i, so it's a two litre four cylinder. Another big difference with this, obviously, is the roof. So you've got a yes. soft top, this is a hard top. So obviously this has added weight. So your car, Joe, is a much lighter than mine, which obviously makes it more nimble, more fun to drive. I see this as two cars in one. This is a coupe and a convertible. So I love it in a Wintac because it, it's warm and it's so enclosed. You genuinely cannot tell that it's a, it's a convertible. And obviously push a button, um, the roof goes down. Your alloys look yes. awesome. I really like them. I'm, not, I'm never a fan of, of five spokes, but um, I think these really, really suit the car. Oh, no, thank um, you. Uh, yeah, so these are the biggest you can get. These are the 19 inch alloys. Uh, they're fantastic. They can be a little bit of a pain to clean, but. So obviously this um, has an update. So it's got the uh, black leather seats. Obviously I've optioned for the automatic gearbox with the paddles. So it's an eight speed gearbox, which is good for obviously fuel economy as again, BMW going to more efficiency. So it's great when you're pulling up and down. It's super responsive. Honestly, it's nearly as good as a DCT. Oh yeah. Feel free to start out. Tell me, how does it feel? Instantly the, the seats, um, they're like a lot more sportier than mine. Are these sport seats on your car? Yes. Yeah, uh, they, hug, they hug you very nicely. The wheel is, uh, it feels similar to mine as well. Um, just a little bit bigger and chunkier. Um, I really want flappy paddles in my neck. <laughs> There's similarities actually, like the doors are similar. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it looks amazing in here. What's the, what's the storage like? Storage, it's quite good, yeah. There's a few storage cabins, so you've got one in there to put your stuff. Don't watch, I got chewing gum in there. Uh, in the center console, you've got your little bit there, and then, uh, yeah, it's not bad. Start it up, start it up, Joel. Tell us how it is. It's crazy, actually, the amount of similarities. Um, with both cars, but yeah, the main thing for me is just the way this looks in here is so much nicer than mine. Yeah, we'll have to have a little go in it later. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Yeah, definitely. I guess we should probably look at some of the things on my car now. Yeah, hundred percent. Let's 
So uh, we've just had a look at your car. Yep. Um, now let's have a look at my car. Now for most people on this channel, they probably know. This uh, car inside out. Mostly, yeah. The but, uh, gurus. The first thing to mention, it's 2004. Right. So it's a lot older than yours, almost over a decade, is it? Yeah, mine's oh, 15, yeah, yeah. So it? Yeah. 11 years older than your Z4. Um, and aesthetically, I guess you guys can see for yourself, um, it's not quite as beefy as the newer Z4. I'll tell you what, I do like, it's a classic design. It's the, I love the long, it's a typical long bonnet, short rear. Um, I love the headlights, I think, I think it's aging quite well. Um, and it's nice, it's nice how there's similarities between the new one and the old one. Yeah, yeah. However, I do think that mine looks a lot like a shoe. Uh, <laughs> oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Uh, we can, uh, should we match Crep it? check. Yeah, <laughs> crap check. The interior is, again, it's something I really like. It's nice and, you know, closed. It's very compact. Um, you know, good old school manual gearbox. The induction noise in these is fantastic. Um, yeah, and a good old school cloth roof, which is, which is brilliant. Yeah. Do you know, automatically, you sit a lot lower, I find. Do you think? Yeah, yeah I think you, you do sit... Because that's, even right now, I can tell um, that car is slightly higher. Mm. Uh, but anyway, uh, foot the clutch. You don't even need the foot on the clutch. Oh, you can side it away? Yeah. Very nice. Wow, that is quick. <laughs> that's it. That's quick. <laughs> so use mine, you've got to time it on a, on a traffic light. Okay, right, yeah. you'd like to go to red, right, cool. Well, I have to do now. the same, because as soon as you start moving, this will stop. Oh really? You so, when you're the amount of times I've had it halfway <laughs> sort of open <laughs> and then had to drive off. Oh, yeah. so Did embarrassing. Who's that? that idiot going? <laughs> or when you're trying to put it back up because it's raining. <laughs> yeah, give it a little rev. <laughs> Actually, you need to you need to come and stand behind here and listen to it because it does it does sound it's it's crazy. You wouldn't think it sounds like too nice. Good old school three liter. It's a beefy. It's got a little bit of uh, like rasps to it as well. Love that noise. So guys, Les and I have been uh, looking around each other's cars. Um, this really is just a straight up comparison video about you know, face value, what is different between the E85 and the E89. Now obviously something worth pointing out is there's a price difference, a vast price difference. I would imagine E89s in general are around two and a half to three times more expensive than the E85s, which I own and I'm driving. Um, so there is a very nice 317 Nismo. I really like those by the way. We're just heading back to another spot now where we're gonna jump in each other's cars and uh, yeah, really um, get more of a feel of what they're about. Okay guys, so we are now in Nez's BMW Z4 and this is the first time I've been in the E89. Really? First yeah, time? Yeah, first time. Wow. And do you know what? I've wanted to for a while because I've always seen pictures of these, the interiors look amazing and it's uh, not a disappointment. Yeah? Um, so, so that a good first impression? Definitely, yeah. it's really, really nice in here. Um, I, I love this whole dash. Is it any similar lines to mine? Do you know, I was going to say that, it's very, they've taken over and just added more and yeah. And it's so spread it feels a lot quieter than before as well, just the ride quality is smoother. Yeah. Well, I can tell you're on Rabbit Flans. Because it's quite hard, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So, as you can, I don't have, granted, the bigger engine as you guys do. I don't have the three litre. Mine is just a two litre, four cylinder. Yeah. Um, but it is turbo. So turbo, it has got yeah. about 180 brake horsepower. 180 brake horsepower. The good thing about this car, I'm sure you'll feel it later, is it's quite playful because of the noise. It, yes, it hasn't got that power, that drama, but BMW have engineered it so it feels fun at that, you know, that small amount of power. So you hear the turbo whistle, whistles and race game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it pops and up shifts. It, it, it's still playful and fun. Yeah. It's similar to mine in the sense that it's it's comfortable and feels very refined and quiet when you want it to be. But then, yeah, it can get it can get playful on demand. We have people on the road, people. Come on! <laughs> Stop walking in the road. It's for cars, not <laughs> pedestrians. Get off! Right, let's give it so. We're now in sport mode, manual, so this is sport transmission. We're gonna use the paddles. So that's 4,000 RPM. Come on! 
Come on! <laughs> Come on, girl! So, one of the things I love about this car is just the gearboxes. Uh, really easy to use and very quick, you know? So that's downshift. Uh, another downshift. Oh, that, that wasn't a downshift. <laughs> I think as well, I, we've had Christian down with his three litre manual today. Yeah. Um, but I think if it was for me to upgrade to an E89, I would probably go for an automatic or the flappy paddles. Flappy paddles. Because um, the flappy paddles still engaging enough for me. Yeah. And it just allows you to have it in automatic when you pour coffee in one hand or. Yeah, exactly. The beer. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beer. Don't drink and drive people. <laughs> Joe, what are you saying to these people? <laughs> I am joking. Another good thing about this gearbox is you can uh, change with we're just pushing this like a touring car. Okay. So that's really satisfying. So when you have a girl in here or a lady friend, you can uh, try and impress her. Look at this. I'm a racing driver. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and she's probably like, okay, can I get out now? <laughs> yeah, you're weird. <laughs> so I guess in, in summary, from sort of being in your car, it's it's very it's very similar in a lot of ways. It's just got that extra level of refinement yeah. um, and a few, you know, some extra options because it's a newer car. It's a newer car, exactly. Um, That's what it is, yeah. Yeah, very, very impressed overall. Right then, Matt, welcome to my Z4. Lovely, mate. Lovely. Honestly, it's it feels simple compared to mine. Mine's got Is buttons everywhere. Soul? No, no, no. I like it. I like. <laughs> so, um, your first impressions. You say the interior is quite simple. You like the sound of the uh, sound generator pipe removal. That is, and it keeps going. <laughs> oh, it grips. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Do you know what? This reminds me of an E46 M3. That it's got the exact same sound. Really? It sounds so identical. Oh. And how do you think it sort of the comfort of this car? I had that I don't have the small seat, so they're not gonna hug you quite as much, yeah. Quite as much yeah. at all. To be fair, I can feel there's a little bit less bolstering. Yeah. Uh, bolstering. Yes. Um but honestly you can, it, it definitely feels a lot smaller. Is that, little, is that the main thing? That is the main because uh, my car, like, sort of feel like the bonnet never stops. Whereas this, at least, maybe it's just my driving position or my seating position. Yeah, I can only just see. It. You can just see the end. You know what I like about your car actually is that most new cars nowadays, and your car is a relatively new car. Yeah. Um, most new cars nowadays are just sort of o over the top, and yours has still got a very sort of simple raw feel to it. Although yeah. it's got a few more electronics than this, it's got a sat nav and it's got a couple of more dials and it's got. Yeah. Gearbox. Um, it still is quite a raw car. Would you agree? Like, sort uh, of? I do agree. Yeah. Yeah. It's and not over the top. They haven't overdone it. Right. Let's give it a little bit of beam. Woo! Can't wait for this. <laughs> that is addictive. Is. Wow. <laughs> This thing sounds fantastic. Honestly, this is a genuinely good surprise. I mean, it's, it's, it's fantastic. No, no, it's good. I guess, yeah, it's been interesting film today because I guess I did, I mean, we're, we're comparing to Z4s, one of them's a new gen and one of them's this gen. Yeah. But I, I, I'm not I'm not too surprised in the sense that I, I, I got what I expected with yours yeah. in a good way. Yeah. I expected it to be a lot nicer and more refined version of this. Mm. Obviously, there's a few things they would have changed or fixed, and whatnot. And obviously, the gearbox is entirely different. But generally speaking, it's just like a very much improved version of it. Yeah. Do you know, one thing before I came, one thing I was uh, I was keen to see is the ride, because I've seen a few people and said the ride is quite harsh on one of these, and I tend to disagree. I don't think it's that bad. This has been changed off run flats. It right. It was okay. Worse. So that's the bigger. It was worse before I uh, changed them. But right. I don't think it's too bad. No. No, I don't have spinal problems. From driving <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> well, I'm glad you like it. No, it's good. It's nice. Okay, guys, so I think that's just about it, isn't it? We've, yeah. uh, we've ended up spending probably way more time than we should, we should have done. It's been a bit of a. <laughs> I don't know. But I hope that we've compared enough for you guys to sort of um, see for yourselves. <laughs> Any questions at all, 
leave a comment below. You can also go and follow uh, Nez on and Simba Motor on Instagram, and he has a YouTube channel too where he'll have a video from today as well. All of those links are either on the screen or below. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Thanks, guys.